this video we are going through the basic configuration of Akame BXV operator. When you first power the operator, you'll see these lines blinking in the display, indicating that we haven't calibrated the encoder yet. But before doing that, you need to select the type of motor that you have. To do that you need to press enter to get to the menu, and use the left arrow until you see A1. Press enter and select the number accordingly to the model that you have. The model is in a label on the side of the operator. For my case I have a SDN4 so I need to select that. Then we need to select the opening direction in F54. By default it's set to open to the left, but in my case the gate opens to the right, so I'll select 1. Now we're ready to calibrate the encoder in A3. Press enter and use the arrows until you see on and press enter. It will start the calibration procedure by closing and then opening. After the calibration is over, you can test everything by pressing the left arrow to close and the right arrow to open. Just make sure you are not in the menu system indicated by the display being off. If you're going to program a remote control, make sure to install the AF card in the control board. Just remember to remove the power before installing the AF card. To program a remote control, go to U1. Press enter and it will show the number 1 indicating the command you want to assign to the button in the remote control. Select which type of command you want and press enter. Then a number is going to blink indicating that it's ready to receive the signal from the remote control, so press the button you wish to program. That signal is going to be stored in the user number that was blinking before. In this operator, we can store up to 250 users. If you connect a safety device like a photocell, the normally closed contact should be connected with the common in pin 2 and the normally closed output to the pin CX. To enable it, go to F2 and select the corresponding behavior you want to execute when the photocell detects an obstruction. For example, this photo self is in the path of the driveway, so I'm going to select C1 that it will reopen the gate while closing. You can connect another safety device in CY and assign the function in F3. If you want to enable auto closing, you can do that in F19. Choosing the number of seconds you want the gate to stay open before closing automatically. To send a command using an external device, like a push button, you can use pins 2 and 7 as a normally open contact and select the function you want in F7. Also the pin 3P can be used and assigned in F8. There are so many other options and features that you can explore in the manual, so I invite you to check it out. Link in the description. I hope it was helpful and thank you for choosing Kame for your automation solution.